In Spokane County, Washington, a metro area with a small town spirit of collaboration, one dire statistic sparked a five-year effort to improve community health. Working with a group of partners from every sector in Spokane is Elisa May. Spokane had a very low graduation rate. It was below 60% at the time. The health department came out with a report that really linked lack of education to health. And having that kind of data on hand about our city motivated our organization and many others to go to work. We focused on truancy because four or more unexcused absences meant that a child only had a 25 or 30 percent chance of graduating from high school. The early warning system is a most remarkable tool for schools to use. And we can see the percent of students with four or more unexcused absences. It allows the administrator to pull up records on a whole school or on an individual student and immediately see how the student is doing and different risk factors like missing school for a seventh or eighth grade student. We are just here because we care about you and, and, and you being successful. The early warning system is used to develop the community attendance support teams, which is a restorative practice to help the student and their family become re-engaged with school after the student has developed a truancy problem. How are you feeling about school right now? Well, there's kids that like to pick on other kids and it's happening almost every day. This is not only helping the family, but it's making use of the community partners who sit around the table and are an integral part of that process. How much do you think that's tied into your, your excessive absences? It's about half to three-fourths of it. As young people and their families get re-engaged, they're more likely to stay in school and they create for themselves a much healthier life than they, they had dropped out of school. Spokane Valley Tech is a remarkable school. It is the collaborative effort of four county schools that have come together with significant backing from our local energy company. Spokane Valley Tech has a focus on STEM disciplines, STEM being science, technology, engineering, and math. The connection to health through the STEM-based learning is that the students become more educated and they are able to get into fields that are going to pay them well. They will have more resources than their families had and will start changing the generational poverty to generational success. Do you, do you see a difference as the concentration increases? Yeah. One of the most important things to us in Spokane is being able to attract new businesses to our community. So developing and improving the workforce is a priority. The essential lesson to be learned from Spokane is that it requires collaboration across many different sectors to achieve long-term, sustainable, root cause changes in your community. Our experiences have demonstrated that it is possible to take something as dreadful as a less than 60% graduation rate and move that needle up to now almost 80%. I am excited to see what Spokane is going to look like at the end of the next five or 10 years because of the efforts that are underway now.